they have. I believe this is God protecting me even further. The program Celebrate Recovery has allowed me to process my emotions, hurts, habits, and hang-ups in a safe, non-judgmental place, where then al- which then allowed me to see God's unconditional love, grace, mercy, and forgiveness that he has for me. Life will continue to throw you curves. It is with the tools that Celebrate Recovery teaches that allows you to roll with those curves and overcome them. I remember my first Celebrate Recovery meeting. Daniel was in Australia, and it was my eight years celebration of being drug-free. I remember feeling so loved and that I felt in, that I felt fit in. I got in a step study, and going through the step four was the hardest for me, but also the most liberating. This step gave me the tools I needed to work through the unforgiveness that I had to all those people. God taught me that with those tools, I can feel free and lighter. My sponsor has helped me through this very painful process. It's an important step. If it was not for her guidance, love, and patience, I would have never made it. I have moved from just attending to working on my recovery to facilitating and serving as the trainer of new leaders. God states that what is meant for evil, he turns to good. And without my horrible background, I do not think I would have the empathy for women and children that are being abused. Nor would I look up for the guidance from my Heavenly Father that I so need. Celebrate Recovery is a program based on biblical principles. And without that program, I do not think I would be able to place those principles into active working order in my life. I know that with God and following these steps, life can be so much easier. Thank you. Wow. Wow. (laughs) Wow. I do have one thing to say. And I'm sure you know it. You will see Ethan again. I do. I bank on that. Amen. Mm, I kept looking at his pictures last night and his beautiful blue eyes. And I thought, she's going to see those eyes again. Mm-hmm. I am. And he's going to embrace me and hug me again. <clears throat> and you will also see that aborted woman again, too. Yes, I know. I believe that Ethan is cradling precious and yep. continues to love on her every yep. day. You're right. Mm-hmm. Wow. So, and there's a miracle too. You did not end up having the hysterectomy because should everything have fell through. <laughs> right. Yes. And now you're thinking about going for another miracle gift. Yes. Yes, very much so. And the other miracle is that they told my husband that I wouldn't make it out of my coma. Um, they had to give me 12 units of blood. If it wasn't for somebody else's blood or those 12 people's blood, just like Jesus, if it wasn't for his blood, I wouldn't be saved. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't mm-hmm. be here today. Right. Yep. And that's how God does things, you know. Uh, where God has been taking me these past eight years, um, you have empathy, and you know where these people... I mean, you know, if you want to get go to a, a doctor for to get fixed, or let's say uh, mind stuff, all right? And you, you go to a doctor who's gone through school and everything else. Would you rather go to them or to go to someone that has it's gone been there. through it and been there and done that? That's what you want. And that's what God does. And that's why we have, to, you know, the mission statement for God Stories Radio, bringing hope, comfort, and encouragement through Dude, the power of the Christian testimony. Second Corinthians 1, 4. Second Corinthians 1, 3, and 4, right. Yep. Who comforted us in our troubles so that we can comfort, comfort those? In any trouble. In any trouble. Correct. Mm-hmm. I think that's NIV. That's, that's what I'm used to. But uh, I, I stand on that one. Right. Man, and what a testimony. Really? Oh, I know. I'm blown wow. away. I had so many questions. and now I, I did, like, too. I had a ton of questions, wow. and then I, I just went speechless about the last half of that. Uh-huh. Um, the other thing I wanted to stress... There's a couple things. One is how important Celebrate Recovery is to so many people. If you're out there and you're hurting, that is a place to go to get all the spiritual help and support you need. Absolutely. Fritz, God Stories Mike, and Radio I, recommends yes, Celebrate Recovery. We oh. all are graduates of Celebrate Recovery. Yes. They we also allow are. people who aren't just Christians and so you don't have to be a Christian right. to go there. Oh, I didn't know that. They are That's the most... Awesome. Uh, ju- non-judgmental um, people I've ever met. I mean, uh, they're just, you know, what can we do? Mm-hmm. They take come all who are weary, literally. Come as you are. Yep. yep. Yes. Absolutely. 
And then the other thing I was thinking of is that the holidays are coming and they need blood a lot of times. You know, there's a shortage around the holidays. So very much so. Maybe if people would, in honor of Ethan, donate some blood this holiday season, it would really Man, be I long. wish I could. I'm on warfare now. And boy, I used to be a gallonier. I just got like a, off a the list of ear. not being able to donate. I can yeah. donate now again. Maybe I'll go go donate my first my first pint for Ethan. Yep. Post it on Facebook. Okay, I will. <laughs> yes. Let's do it. Thank you, Danielle. Danielle, thank you so much. Wow. And thank you're you only, for having me. And you're only like 29, 30 years old, and you went through all of this already. Wow. I'm 29. Let's not go to 30. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was trying to figure it out early when she said she was five years old and then, you know. Six and then yeah, yeah, 11. Yeah. And I'm then you w- normally ask, what was your two-by-four moment? But I think with hers, there were. They just kept coming. One after another. So Yeah, and she referred to the scriptures as, did. as slapping her around. Yeah. Or the, I know. Isn't that? I thought that was great. Mm-hmm. I'm stubborn. I need to be slapped around we, every now and again. We well, you're are. in good company. That's yes. for sure. <laughs> because we've all had to be slapped around yep. a little bit, and we were all, you know. And when God takes you to those places, those places just where you said you were by yourself and everything else, that's when he wants you the most to press into him. Amen. Mm-hmm. And it's yeah. just you and him. And as I learned when I was going through that, what I tell people is that he wants you to find out who you really are. Amen. And then who you are in him. Right. And... And he will squeeze until he, he gets it all. He will. He will. So you might as well. Don't go through all the stuff I had to go through for yes, him to get what you. he wanted. Thank you, Danielle. <laughs> yeah. I think we're brother and sister. I, I I went through just about everything you did, but you got me at the end. I mean, there was a few there that I was just, I lost my mom to uh, inoperable breast cancer when I was very young and um, just a lot of, of situations that, that you mentioned and. So, God wow. is good. He brings yes, us together for mm-hmm. His glory. Yep. Amen. And He Amen. allows you to live those those situations, good or bad, right. so that you can minister to others in that right in and that it, situation. But what the biggest thing is, most of the time, as she said, towards the end there, unforgiveness. That's what gets us all. Yeah. You did it to me, and I'm mad, and I'm not gonna forgive you, and so on and so forth. Well. Uh, it does. It's freeing. It's the biggest the freeing thing. Oh yes, it will let, set you free. Absolutely. Hey, Amen. Well, we've all had those conversations with with the Father. You know, well, mm-hmm. I'll give you this, this, and this, but uh, I'll continue to handle this. I got this. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. kind of thing. <laughs> yeah, right. It's sure that tug you, of war thing. Sure, you do. <laughs> you can have this right now, but when I see that you're not doing it, I'm going to take it back. That's right. That's right. Wow. Yes. What a this was session sixty six. And Danielle even said that she was kind of fighting a cold and stuff, and uh, mm-hmm. we're just like, well, Stinky. we're not surprised. No, and she also said that this is, uh, I don't know, she's given her testimony quite a few times, and every single time, all of a sudden, she gets uh, some type of ailment on the day she's supposed to yeah. get it. Old Slewfoot don't want this testimony out there. I'm telling you right now, there's no. some ones out there that needed to hear oh, what she absolutely. had to say. Absolutely. And, uh, I'd Even be re- if it's just one part of oh, it here, amen. one part of it there, absolutely. I'd be real surprised if we don't get any feedback, you know, from from this session. So. Yeah, tell them how to get in touch with us, Fritz. Yeah, you can uh, get us on uh, God Stories Radio at Gmail. You know, if something, Daniel's testimony uh, touched you, uh, <coughs> um, let us know. You know, let us know if you have a question for Danielle. Go to God Stories Radio at Gmail and drop us a line, and we'll get it to her, and and uh, she can contact you or however we'll work it out. Mm-hmm. You know, you can also uh, get us on Facebook by uh, going to God Stories Radio. No, that was, that was Mikey's cue. Oh, mine to twit. That us. was the twit. Yeah, you can twit us. You can twit us. Mikey missed his cue. Oh, I didn't. I was thinking of something else. I was thinking... Um, <laughs> he was off He was on, in deep thought. He I really was. I was in deep thought. I was trying to think of uh, the... Um, he oh, was not on Earth. The guy's then. name that uh, a couple weeks ago that called from um, Oregon. Oh, Jason. The, the yeah, guy with a taxi? Yes. Yes. Did yes. you Did you see the numbers on that testimony? Yeah. I mean, it's the fastest that hit... Those numbers. It was a, it was like seven hundred and something for the month. Oh, for the month. Yeah, but his alone is already at two fifty. Oh yeah, wow. Oh, and speaking of our 
friends from around the world. Um, Pastor Wilkins, we want to say some prayers for him. He's venturing out into Uganda. He's he's in um, Kenya, and he's uh, going to be going on a trip, and he wanted some prayers. So if you could stand in prayer with him. and um, Hey, man, that guy's busy. He is. I'm telling you. Well, that's good. And we're going we're gonna to send him a package. Bless him and send him a package, and we can't wait to get it done. Yeah. Speaking Help of. Him, so. And don't forget the donate button and the store. Yes, please check out our store on GodStoriesRadio.com and anything that you purchase there. Yeah, there's a Trish Bear. There's a Trisha Bear. Everybody needs one for but Christmas, you gotta, right? Everybody needs a coffee mug. You know, the God Stories Radio official coffee mug. You know, check it out. And we get a couple of bucks, you know, and you get a nice coffee mug. We really appreciate it. And we do have the donate button. We have some immediate needs. You know, we're... Uh, seeking some things so if you feel led right push the button and please you know, do it's always been our agenda to bless you and and uh, we have funded this thing as long as we can right so, and at this point now we have been getting some uh donates donate button pushed a few times uh some on, from on a regular basis so we're kind of uh starting at the beginning of the year we are going to try and take some of the expenses that we are paying accruing. for now of our yeah. own par- pocket to uh, have the donate button cover some of those the expenses. cash taken care for those expenses yeah, we hopefully. appreciate all of our yes supporters. amen we love you guys we love you thank all. you thank you so so very much anthony um, and jd the, anthony <laughs> JD. JD. Yeah, jd yeah jd showed up real men on monday night thank yeah. you jd we got our jesus t-shirts yeah yes, he, we he, did. Gave, he blessed a couple of the guys in the group with some uh Jesus T-shirts. So I like hanging happy. out with him. I went to the Chick Fil A with him too. that night, and I ended up passing out T-shirts too. I was just having a ball and taking pictures with people. And well, uh, man, that guy's got it going on. Man, he's about the Father's business. Yeah, mm-hmm. if you need a free Jesus T-shirt, get in touch with us. Yes, we will get you one. Promise. All right, so. session sixty-six. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us uh, for the last fifty-six minutes. That was session sixty-six. I'm 66. Fritz. I'm Mike, and I'm Trish. God bless you. God bless. Seems like all I could see was the struggle. Haunted, I go. prisoner and say to me son stop fighting a fight it's already been won and I am redeemed you set me free so I'll shake off these heavy chains and wipe Redeemed. I'm redeemed.